Okay, now I'm going to make a batch of springs to cover the whole model. Seems to be working just fine. Halfway there. Wow, look at that thing. There we go. Ready? Look at it go! Relaxation! Wow! Lots of spring bank! Uh oh! Looks like it's worked itself loose on the end there. That's something. Wow, I've never seen anything like that. This is 16 inches of continuous spring. Wow, look at that. Still hasn't quite fully relaxed on the other end. Looks like I may need to give it some assistance here. Wow, look at those waves, look at those ripples. Okay. Ready to see it come off the stick? Whoa! Look at that. That's something. That is a funny looking thing. Thanks, friction spool. Now I'm going to cut it up. I think that about 16 turns is right. Now, got all 24 springs cut with a few extras. So to bend the ends of the spring over, I'll grip it, bend it once like so, rotate it up so that I can bend it down and then I'll clamp it closed. There's one bend. Do the same on the other side. Grip it, fold it over, rotate it 90 degrees, squeeze it again, fold it down to almost back on itself, and then finish it off squeezing it all the way closed. All right, let's get some springs installed. Kind of funny. Kind of reminds me of a jellyfish. All right, let's make some connections. Okay, I've got the six radial springs connected. Still had yet to join the edges, but it's already displaying quite the movement. And for some reason, it wants to remain centered. I haven't quite gotten that figured out yet. It seems like there's a fair bit of resistance in the sculpture. For example, if I move one of the corners, if I pivot one of the corner rods, the whole sculpture doesn't go with it. It's like there's some bit of resistance to the whole sculpture pivoting together. So for some reason, the sticks want to return to perpendicular. That's unexpected. Why is that? I would have thought that just plucking one of the sticks on the end 
Moving it to a different angle would have caused the whole array to move to a different angle. But for some reason, they all want to stick in the center. I think I'll connect the remaining springs and see what happens. Okay, I've got the springs connected along the top edges and I'm seeing what I think is a good sign. The rods which are more connected have more influence. Makes sense, I guess. Previously, this guy only being connected in one direction doesn't have that much influence. Whereas the one in the center being connected in all six directions has a lot of influence. So I think as I continue to connect the peripheral springs, I'm going to see a nicer behavior, closer to what I was expecting to see. Alright, everything's connected. It's working. Behaves much better with the springs connected in all directions. It's amazing to see it come together. I did a lot of imagining to try and see if I could predict what it would behave like. Yet I'm still absolutely surprised and blown away to see it here in real life. It's similar in some ways, it's different in a lot of ways. In many ways, it's even better than I could have imagined. It's been a lot of steps, a long process, preparation, steady progress, all with a lot of anticipation. And it's really a thrill to see it all come together here. I could play with this thing for hours. Look at it go.